Hi, my name is Rick Sanchez. I'm with a company called Tractor Tip, and what we have for sale here today is a K621 XT. We're going to talk a little bit about the mechanics of this particular machine, the first clip, the operating specs in the second, we'll run it in the third. Price on a new machine like this these days is bumping about $150,000. This machine currently has 2,567 hours on it. The um, previous owner had actually changed out the hour meter and I'll uh, update either our listing or something when I get the exact hour meter reading. Uh, as far as manufacturers go, case is ubiquitous out there. I mean, they're, they're kind of the workhorse of the construction world. Um, this machine weighs 27,877 pounds. The highest point is 11 foot, which is the top of that cab right there. The transportation length from the end of that counterweight to the front of this cutting edge is 24 feet. The width of the bucket is 8 foot 5 inches. Uh, the tires, if you were to take this bucket off, obviously it's got a quick coupler, but if you were to take these, uh, take the bucket off, the tires are seven foot eight inches wide. So if you ran the bucket parallel with uh, the machine, of course, in most states, eight foot six is illegal, legal width anyway. Comparable machines are a Caterpillar 924 or a John Deere 524, or maybe a Komatsu WA200. As far as the history of this unit goes, like most of the machines that we purchased, it's an original owner, Dallas, Texas machine with no rust. We're far enough south and 300 miles from the ocean, so the only salt we see is uh, salt on our kitchen tables. You can see it's 75 degrees. I'm wearing shorts today, and it's we're almost into December. We're, uh, what's today? The 26th. It's, November the 26th. Um, this machine comes from a large, well-organized contractor here in the Dallas Fort Worth area that had a comprehensive uh, maintenance program that rivals some of the best I've seen. Uh, we, as well as uh, our customers, are pretty happy with the machines that we purchased from these guys. And it should be said that before I buy any machine, my mechanics go through it and thoroughly inspect it first. And then when we get close enough to the deal, before I write a check for it, I, I personally inspect it myself. Uh, we don't buy junk. As far as options go, uh, this machine has got auxiliary hydraulics. It's got a quick coupler. It's an ACS quick couple system pretty uh, common quick coupling system so you can get different kinds of attachments for this uh, this quick coupler and actually ACS attachments are pretty uh, pretty reasonably priced uh, the machines obviously four-wheel drive you can see it's got ride control but I'll show you that in the cab here in a little bit um, it's got a hydraulic fan that's reversible in other words, you can blow the hot, you can, to clean the radiator or all the uh, coolers out, radiator, hydraulic, transmission, to, to, to blow out all those, uh, you can reverse the fan and clean them pretty easy. Um, oh, it's got a, a battery disconnect switch here, which is nice, we better turn that on because we're fixing to start it. It's got a remote uh, drain system for servicing, which is kind of handy. As far as inside the cab, it's got a, obviously it's a cab machine, all the, all the glass is in it. Um, the uh, AC blows cold, the uh, heater works. Uh, it's got, uh, I can't, don't know if you can make it out from the cab there, but you've got a remote uh, transmission control at the joystick and you've got a couple of 12 volt outlets, which is kind of handy if you want to plug your phone or whatever in there. As far as the engine goes, 
This machine has got 136 net horsepower or 148 gross horsepower uh, K668. It's a turbo char it's turbocharged and after cool. It's a 50 gallon uh, tank, fuel tank, so 50 gallons will run you probably, I don't know, anywhere from 12 up to 16 hours of uh, operating time depending on your application. All of the fluid levels on this machine are good or where they should be. This machine is mechanically sound. There's no leaks on it. Everything works. All the work lamps work. Everything on it works. Air conditioner, heater. Um, the transmission runs through all the gears without hesitation. Uh, top speed for this tractor is 24 miles an hour in forward, 16 in reverse. Brakes stop it on a dime. The tires are about 85%. There's no cuts on them. Again, this is inherently a four-wheel drive machine. These tires are 20.5 R25s. These are radial tires. They all match. The hydraulics are strong. All of the pins and the bushings on this machine are relatively tight. This cutting edge is about 75%. It's been turned once, I believe. It should be said that uh, although this machine has got 2567 on the hour meter, we it might accrue a couple of hours as we use it around the yard here. There's no uh, deflection at all in that turn turntable or articulation joint right there. As far as the bucket goes, again this bucket is 8 foot 5 wide. It's uh, 4 foot 1 inches at the mouth of the bucket and the girth or the depth of the bucket is, is uh, 3 foot. Um, it's a two and a half yard heaped bucket. I mean a struck bucket. Struck meaning if you were to level this off, kind of like if you had a cup, a measuring cup, and you got a uh, table knife and you leveled off the cup, it's two and a half yards uh, struck. Struck measurements, probably about a three, three and a quarter yard heaped. The hinge pin height on this XT on the XT machines, they're a half a foot taller. This hinge pin height right here, if you were loading into a dumpster, is 13 foot. A regular 621 is only 12 and a half feet. Um, as far as the lifting capacity of this machine, lifting capacity on this loader is limited by its static tip load and simply stated. The hydraulics of this machine are so powerful that the machine will tip forward before the hydraulics give out. So this the lifting capacity is actually limited by the weight of the unit, and in this case it's 20,318 pounds. Um, okay, as far as the ports for that loader, this is a five foot carriage. The forks are five foot long, and the height from the heel of the fork to the top of this carriage is three feet. Okay, so this next video is just to show you the uh, the cab. You got vents, vents here, here, there, there. That's for your auxiliary hydraulics on your for your bucket. This is your joystick control for your bucket. This is your forward and reverse. Um, you got vents all over the place. This thing's got a heck of a blower motor on it. Here's your park brake right here. Um, show you that all the gauges and everything work. Everything lights up.
here's your hazard this is a uh, I don't know maybe a float function for your bucket oh I got the hazards on I can say all the lights and stuff work all the mirrors are on this machine this button right here kind of toggles uh, back and forth between your your uh, different um, different uh, displays right here um, this is your the, all these are for your uh, AC and heater uh, this right here is for your work lamps this is your windshield wiper maybe which works just fine and this one right here is for your rear windshield wiper which works just fine um, this uh, this is a differential lock right there this uh, uh, is I think your remote function for your I don't have an operator's manual, so <laughs> I'm just guessing this is probably your remote function for your um, joystick. Uh, this is your ride control. This is how you reverse your fan. This is a reverse fan switch. Um, this is to automatically uh, shift your gears from one to four. Like if you have it in three, it'll automatically shift up to three but not past it. Or if you have it in two, it'll automatically shift up to two but not past it. Um, this is your traction control button right here. Uh, this is your disconnect for your quick coupler. Uh, that is... Oh, that's probably your spray for your... Oh no, I'm sorry, that's that's your um, rear windshield wiper. And this is your uh, where you set your uh, transmission disconnect. You got another deal back here, a cup holder. This is the seat. There's no tears in the seat. There's a little bitty tear right here. It looks like they did that to put that beacon light up there. So that's uh, that's it.